Hello everyone, this is Ra Youssef and it is an English lesson for grade 7 at Finnish Systems Schools. Uh, we have finished talking about the passage which is the last of the Mohicans. We talked about it and we, um, we identified every um, page and um, highlighted every main idea. Uh, today we're going to make like a revision, a review for what we have talked about, the last of the Mohicans previously. So the outcomes that I expected for you to have after this lesson is to understand the text, to be able to identify the characters and to be able to understand the plot. Um, the last of the Mohicans, it is very important for you guys to know that the last of the Mohicans was um had um been written by James Fenimore Cooper. It is very important for you to know who wrote the novel. So James Fenimore Cooper, he wrote the novel which is The Last of the Mohicans. Uh, now I'm going to give you like this is a summary so you can like write what is you think that is important. You can underline, you can like highlight uh, what you find it, it important. Um, it is the late 17, uh, 70, 70, 1750s and the French and Indian War grips the wild forest frontier of western New York. The French army is attacking Fort William Henry, a British outpost commanded by Colonel Monroe. Monroe's daughters, it is very important to know who's many Monroe's daughters. So Monroe's daughters, Alice and Cora, set out from Fort Edward to visit their father. Escorted through the dangerous forest by Major Duncan Howard and guided by an Indian named Magua. Soon they are joined by David Gamut, a singing master and religious follower of Calvinism. Traveling cautiously, the group encounters the white Scot. Natty Pampo, who goes by the name Hawkeye, and his two Indian companions, Shingakuk and Ankus. Indian companions, Shingakuk and Ankus, Shingakuk's son, the only surviving member, it is very important to know that Shingakuk's son, uh, who is Ankus, is the only surviving member of the once great Mohicans tribe. Hawkeye says that Magua Horan has betrayed the group by leading them in the wrong direction. The Mohicans attempt to capture the traitorous Horan, but he escapes. Hawkeye and the Mohicans lead the group to safety in a cave near the near a waterfall, but Horan allies of Magua attack early the next morning. Hawkeye and the Mohicans escape down the river, but Horan's capture Alice, Cora, Howard and Gamut. Magua celebrates the kidnapping when Howard tries to convert Magua to the English side. The Horan reveals that he seeks revenge on Mondra for past humiliation uh, and pros proposes to free Alice if Cora will marry him. Cora has a romantic feeling for Ancus. It is very important to know that Cora is, has a romantic feelings for Ancus. However, Angerly refuses Magua. Suddenly, Hokai and the Mohicans burst into the scene, rescuing the captives and killing every Horan but Magua, who escapes. After a harrowing journey embedded by Indian attacks, the group reaches Fort William Henry, the English stronghold. They sneak through the French army, besieging for the fort. And once inside, Cora and Alice reunite with their father. A few days later, the French forces call for a truce. Mendro learns that he will receive no reinforcement for the fort and will have to surrender. He reveals to her that Cora's mother was part Negro, which explains her dark complexion and raven hair. Mundo accuses Howard of racism because he prefers to marry blonde Alice over dark Cora, but Howard denies the, denies the charge. During the withdrawal of the English troops from the from Fort Henry, the the Indians um the Indian allies of the French indulge their bloodlust and prey upon the vulnerable retreating soldiers. In the chaos of slaughter, Magua manages to recapture Koa, Alice, and Gamir and to escape with them into the forest. 
Three days later, Herod, Hawkeye, Mondro, and the Mohicans discover Magra's trail and begin to pre- to pursue the villain. Gamet reappears and ex- explains that Magua has separated his captives, confining Alice to a Hawaiian camp and sending Cora to a Delaware camp, using deception and a variety of dis- disguises. The group manages to rescue Alice from the Hawaiians, with which point Howard confesses his romantic interest in her. So Howard confesses his romantic interest into Alice. At the Delaware village, Magua convinces the tribe that Hawkeye and his companions are their racist enemies. Uncas reveals his exalted heritage to the Delaware sage Terminant and then demands the release of all his friends but Cora, who he admits belongs to Magua. Magua departs with Cora, a chase and a battle in show. Magua and his horns suffer painful defeat, but a rogue horn kills Cora. Ancus begins to attack the Hoan who killed Cora, but Magua stabs Ancus in the back. In the back, Magua tries to leap across the Great Divide, but he falls short and must cling to shrub shrub to avoid tumbling off and dying. Hokai shoots him, and Magua at last plummets to his death. Cora and Ancus receive proper burials the next morning amid ritual chants performed by the Delawares. Shinge Cook mourns the loss of his son, while Tamand sorrowfully declares that he has lived that he has lived to say the last warrior of the noble race of the Mohicans. Now the characters I'm going to give you like a brief brief um Summary of each character. This is Hokai, the novelist Fortnite hero. He is a a woodsman, hunter, and Scott. Hokai is the hero's uh, adapted name. His real name is Natty Pumple, a famous Mark's name. Hokai carries a full name, Kildeer, and has earned the Fortnite nickname La Long Cap Carapine or the Long Rifle. Hokai moves more comfortably in the forest than the civilization. His closest bonds are the Indians. Particularly Shinga, Hook, and Ancus, but he frequently asserts that he has no Indian blood. As a culture hybrid, a character who mixes elements of different cultures, Hokai provides a link between Indians and whites. Magua. Magua is the novelist, the novel's villain. He is a cunning horror named Leonardo Sapto or Sapto Fox, once a chief, once a chief among the, his people. Magua was driven from his tribe for drunkenness, because the English colonel Mondro enforced he, this humiliating punishment. Magua processes uh, a burning desire for retaliation against him. Major Duncan Howard, a young American colonist from the South who has risen to the rank of major in the English army. Courageous, well-meaning and noble, Howard often finds himself out of place in the forest. They worried by the, his lack of knowledge about the Fortnite and Indian relations, Howard's unfamiliarity with the land sometimes creates a problem for Hawkeye, the dexter woodsman and leader. Ancus, Shingakuk's son, he is the youngest and last member of the Indian tribe known as the Mohicans, a noble, proud, self possessed young man. Ancus falls in love with Kowe Mondro and suffers tragic consequences for desiring a forbidden interracial, interracial cobbling. Noble uncles, they were the, ever, the, the evil, Magua's desire to marry Kowe. Ancus also functions as Hawkeye's adapted brother and learns about leadership from Hawkeye. Shingakok. Ancus's father, he is one of the um the two surviving members of the Mohicans tribe. An older friend of Hokai, Shingaku is also known as Lee Grass Prent, the Great Snake, because of his crafty intelligence. David Gamet, a young Calvinist attempting to carry Christianity to the Fortnite th- through the power of his uh, song, ridiculously out of place in wilderness, Gamet is the subject of Hokai's frequent mockery. Gamet matures into Hokai's helpful alley frequently supplying him with important information. 
Cora Munro, Colonel Munro's eldest, eldest daughter, saw Minka with a noble bearing. Cora's dark complexion derives from her mother's Negro background. Cora attracts the love of the Mohican warrior, Ancus, and seems to return his feelings cautiously. She suffers the tragic fate of this sentimental, sentimental heroine. Alice Munro, Colonel Munro's younger daughter, by his Scottish second wife and Cora's half sister, girlish and young. She tends to faint in stressful moments. Alice and Howard love each other. Alice's blonde hair, fair skin, and weakness make her a conventional counterpart to the racially mixed and fairy Cora. Colonel Mondro, the commander of the British forces at Fort William Henry and father of Cora and Alice. As a young man, Mondro travelled to the West Indies where he married a woman of Negro descent, Cora's mother. When Mondro's first wife died, he returned to Scotland and married his childhood sweetheart, who later gave birth to Alice. Although Mondro is a massive, powerful man, circumstances and the war eventually leave him withdrawn and ineffectual. General Montcalm, Marcus Louis Joseph de Saint Véran, known as Montcalm, is the commander of the French um, forces fighting against England. So it is a war between French and England. You should know that it is a war between French and England. Uh, during the French and Indian War, he enlists the aid and knowledge of Indian tribes to help his French forces navigate the unfamiliar forest compact setting. After capturing Fort William Henry, though, he is powerless to prevent the Indians' massacre of the English troops. Taminand, which is an ancient wise and river to the Indian sage who has outlived the three generations of warriors. The lesson has ended. I really hope that you have enjoyed it. This is actually the end of our curriculum. Next week is going to be a revision for your final exams. So this is actually a summary of the last of the Mohicans. You should know the summary, you should know the characters and so on. Don't forget to do your homeworks. I'm waiting for your homeworks to so that I can receive them and check them. Stay safe. This is your teacher, right? Yusuf, bye-bye.